Here at Tewkesbury on the banks of the River Severn, the man who for the past 37 years has done the job of lock keeper retired last week. His job has been a hard one, working a 12 hour day and quite happily for only a retainer fee of six pounds a month. Now the reason for his retirement is that this year he will be 80 years of age. His name, Mr. Archibald Collins. Now, Mr. Collins, since the age of 19, you've been a baker, a publican, a fish dealer, you've owned a campsite and you've bred dogs. That's quite right. And in the past 35 <coughs> years, you've been lock keeper here at Tewkesbury. That's right. Now, uh, which job have you enjoyed the most? <laughs> that's, a, that's a funny job to answer. Hmm. When you, I've, I've had uh, some good times on all of them. Now, plenty of friends. While you've been a lock keeper, have you had any interesting experiences in the floods? Oh, yeah. I've heard the story in the town that you once saved five people's lives in 48 hours. Could you tell us about this? Oh, yes. Yeah. That was on, uh, I think it was about 1951, I think it was. We were in the house, and uh, Mrs. Collins and myself, well, I went to the door, and... Uh, I heard him shouting for help. Well, I ran along to the Ealing Slower Mill and I got closer to him and down the steps and I saw a hand in the bottom step. So I said to him, I said, I caught hold of his wrist and I said, dig your toe into the wall and I'll try and pull you out. So I got him out and he got someone else then. So he said, don't lose her, that's my wife. Well, she was about a half a ton to pull her out. <laughs> she, so anyway, we got her out on the out on the steps, and there was another fellow shouting. So I said, "What? Where are you?" He said, "I'm hanging on a rope." I said, "Can you swim?" He says, "Yes, I can." And uh, he swam across, and I got him out. In fact, you received a letter from your local MP. Oh yes, I got that. Yes. Mm. Now, in this time, one of your main interests has been dog breeding. Oh, yes. Oh, Have you had any oh, successes? Oh, crumbs, yes. Yeah. I bred them. I broke them. I broke them to the gun and ferrets. I used to do a lot of shooting and that. All Have the you way shown around. any dogs at Croft? Oh, yes. Yes. I was shown, the last one I showed at Croft in 1938. I believe that on the river that you have a pet goose. Is oh, this that's, true? Right. that's gussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, he was in. He fell in, he fell out of a crate up in the main street here. And uh, the people at the George, the landlord of the George, uh, belonged to them. Well, they were going to kill him 12 months this last Christmas. So my daughter said, don't kill him. She says, she said, I'll go buy you another, so I bought him another goose. And paid with two pound. And Gussie's still alive. <laughs> oh, we can get rid of Gussie. Is the day here as a lock keeper a hard one? Oh, crumbs, you want it? Yes, no. You see, when I started here, it was only about two boats went through. Well, there's a thousand boats on the on the river now, you know. I think Aidan Trust thinks I got a bit too much for me. And You've been the lock keeper here since 1928. Will you be sorry to leave? Uh, yeah. Definitely, in a way. But at my age, I was very near 80. Mm -hmm. you know, every happiness. Thank you very much, Thank sir. you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you.